Oh, goodness gracious. So talk to your, your local congressperson about removing Wife City from your city. Uh, <laughs> you want to go to uh, phoenix.gov. Uh, you can look us up by our hashtag and um, mm-hmm. basically evict us. It'll speed up the process. Wife City. I don't know what the process was, but I met one person who got kicked out of an entire state, and apparently it was someone who was in my Uber rides. Uh, he apparently was selling so much cocaine that <laughs> he got kicked out of Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, of all the states! I asked him, how do you get kicked out of Idaho? And he said, by having a lot of cocaine and selling it. That's... What else is there to do in Idaho? <laughs> I, I feel like that's their national sport. We were also literally just talking to someone earlier today about, like, we had coffee with a friend who told us that apparently Boise, Idaho is, like, the next big city in the country gentrified. that's going to be gentrified. Yeah. Which is like, oh, yeah. God. Boy, Boise, Idaho is going to be gentrified. I, I I heard that and I said, this is what you say to activate a sleeper agent. Oh, wait, time. stop this. <laughs> He can't, listen, SK, he can't help it. It's just how he is. You know the Irish. <laughs> I feel like a party pack is just an orgy, really. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, and with Except that, we're with, go- like, And with that, that's logistics? the end of the stream, everyone. Thank you Bye. for coming Bye, by. Bye, uh, well, <laughs> oh, okay. oh, all right, all right. So it's gonna be like that, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was trying to be more subtle about it, but um... yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the more direct answer is just the way. Well, I'm glad to know that tonight's running gag has already been set in stone. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Owen. <laughs> Owen. Oh, no. For the sake of the jobs that I'm applying to, I did not vote for that answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. They're both surprising. What? Well, that's more impressive than like. Uh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta do a lot of work to pull that off. So, what has you right? fallen your local doctor? It's more yeah. surprising than you might think. <laughs> your oh. dick is very surprising. Someone else's dick is less surprising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's real good. That's really good. Really? I'm fucking dying. Man, that's <laughs> okay. real spooky. He needs to be stopped. <laughs> You're lucky those got put in that order. <laughs> I love to see it brought back. I love to see a joke brought back. I just love it. In the same round, though. That's yeah. impressive. <laughs> what? <laughs> Vivian has Invisalign TM copy pasted and is milking it for every single, every single penny it's worth. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. There's no way to know. Who could it be? I didn't know you could use those like those symbols. Ah, if it keeps working. Oh no. Oh no. (laughs) <laughs> Neither of these are wrong. Oh, no. I feel like I'm in the danger zone here. <laughs> now it gets real. That's, that's an easy win there. <laughs> There's a secret amongst the polycule. <laughs> Your spouse's spouse isn't real. Dun dun dun. There's one imposter among them. At the most bizarre sex parties, well. people don't wear masks. Oh, wear no. Well. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> she can't keep getting away with this. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. <laughs> I mean, only if they've been freshly dunked in, like, a milkshake or something. Oh, man. Oh, Oh, God.
I've I've done that. Don't, don't you yeah. love me? I know what I've done. Don't you shame me for the crimes was, of my past. Hey, hey, I wasn't gonna say it out loud. I'm just that's what a subtweet is. I'm subtweeting. Yeah, there you go. Never date someone who blank blank or blank. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. We're all thinking it. We're all thinking it. Wow. God damn. <laughs> oh, that was rough. See, I googled Invisalign and it's not even TM. It has like the R <laughs> sign next to it. But it's funnier with the TM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh no! Oh god! Oh, no. That's rough. Jay! Jay! I know it because I've lived it. Oh no! Let's hear it. <laughs> oh come on! That wouldn't be Bree though. That would be me. Come on! I would do it to taunt you. <laughs> Why find religion when you Why can create it? <laughs> well, you see, the first one can't happen because of the separation between pro-state and church. Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I know what I'm voting for! <laughs> that's called an inside joke there. <laughs> I can tell that Bree is the one that, that wrote one of those answers. <laughs> I appreciate your appreciation. Not a problem. Like, conceptualize it. What is more of a power move than any time you need to go to the bathroom just standing up, walking into the doorway and saying, It's piss time. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Oh, good work, Bree. They are the dad. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. actually what tipped me off. Everyone who contributed. <laughs> so. I looked back and I was like, oh, wait, mm. See, Bree, you are cultured. You got a literary yeah, reference. Look at good me. Job. <laughs> it's a terrible it's a human. human item. Right. Here we go again. Penis. Time to begin. Idaho. Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Good, we got them all out of there. Uh, kind of similar to... Bend it like Becca 7. I... <laughs> I know this isn't right, even having not seen the movie that I chose, but... When the presenter uh... in a sentence, you get points for being helpful. Huh. Uh, but... Mm. Mighty ducks do. <laughs> Duck tiles. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Whoa, a scary thing. <laughs> I think that's... There we go. Oh, yo. I haven't seen this either, so... <laughs> oh, I have seen that film. <laughs> but I figured... I maintain that Mighty Ducks 2 is a valid answer. Stargate SG-1. Hmm. Huh. Stargate. Story about a horrible... It's a lot like Stargate mm -hmm. SG-1. like Stargate SG-1. Lost in space. Stargate. Atlanta Stargate. <laughs> Stargate. Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on uh, now. Uh, this is so much fun. Hello, right, everyone. Go. My name is Jay, and today I am here to talk to you about a very, very important topic. And that topic is how anime can ruin your life. It's... <laughs> It is a very serious problem, and frankly, it has been something that has happened to me. And it happened to this man, too. He watched the newest season of Shark no Musume, an anime about having a shark as a girlfriend, and he bought a body pillow, which he is now submerged in his swimming pool next to him. And unfortunately, the anime has started to come to life and is now threatening to consume him. And as we can see from this terrified look on his face, I don't think he is going to make it out of here. But that is not where this ends. It honestly reminds me of another slightly related point. It This is what can happen! This is the this is the after results. These are the results of what happens when you 
fall into the reaches of anime. This poor couple here, they got together and they watched, uh, is, the, is this order a rabbit? And this is what happened afterwards. <laughs> no one actually knows what that show is about. And as a result, they sustained the harshest injuries, but it still does not end there. All of these points, all of this points to just one essential truth. <laughs> I feel like there's not even really much I have to say about this. In the spaghetti version of Evangelion, you can just devolve into into a pile pile of noodles. In fact, this is what happened to me. This is a photo of me. And th and thankfully, I have now been captured in PNG form and am now alive as a human again. Thank you for coming to my talk. Hi, I'm SK, unit number zero. And contrary to what other people here might have you believe, I'm here to tell you about why fear is the only thing keeping you from anime. Oh no! Uh. You see this? This is the future. This is everyone sitting around in conference rooms watching anime. That person over there, they're watching the Chijo and they're having a great time because it's a fluffy kind of high school comedy thing that's really funny. And that person over there is really sad because they just got to the, like the three quarter point of Steins Gate and they don't know what they're going to do with themselves. <laughs> And finally, I had to admit something to us that the following was true. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares <laughs> if anime might be looked down upon by everyone else? Do you care if oh, you're going to be morally judged as inferior to your peers if you enjoy anime? No, <laughs> no one should. Anime will make you a morally better person. <laughs> now, what can we all do to fix this? First of all, we can start... Do, we can start by making anime beam directly into your brain. That's right, we're working on the new anime brain yes. interface system where by just simply existing, anime will fill your eyeballs at all times. Oh, Everywhere yeah. you look, anime, nothing Yo. but. Thank you for coming. Wonder Egg Priorities finale kind of sucked. <laughs> Hello, my name is Wheel Baron, and my talk is um, really important. We're about to find out here. We're going to go ahead and switch over to slide two. It's about why we need a knife. This is the age old question. The Final Fantasy VII's, all the Final Fantasies uh, 14 and below, all 30 and counting. Oh. We just need it. Look, this is the monsters. This is the shit we have to deal with. This is who killed our mom. They ate her. They, we watched it happen when we were five years old. And for this reason, we need a 20 foot sword in order to take down God. Anyway, um, so I apologize for this next picture, but you must see the truth. You're not prepared, but I'm gonna divulge this information with you all. No! So <laughs> knock, 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 knock. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Evie, and I'm and I am I'm your mortality baby. I'm here yes. to tell you that you are going to die. We're gonna die. Everyone's going to die. <laughs> These raccoons, that tree, they're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so go out there and live your truth. Hell yeah. These tr this tree <laughs> these raccoons probably won't be able to. <laughs> my name is Brevildoer, and my talk is I'm not a doctor, but I will now give you medical <laughs> advice about Invisalign. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at his confident teeth. Look how he's the center of the room. Everyone's mad at him, but he doesn't care because he has confidence and he's owning the room right now. They're upset because he has the power over them. Why? The power of Invisalign. How did we get to this point? See, this girl has no teeth. Her life is in shambles, <laughs> and she could have fixed all of that by just, look how impressive she's being, doing this jumping split, and no one's looking at her. She has no audience, you know why? Because she doesn't have teeth, much less straight teeth. Teeth that look so perfect. It look, it look this whole area, this whole area right here, completely teethless. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> that is really the power of Invisalign and what it can do for us. Who is responsible for this, I ask you? 
This dragon. <laughs> this is the evil demon dragon Toothoid who takes all of the teeth out of your mouth while you're sleeping. We don't know how it happens, and more random occurrences are happening all the time, and the only defense we know against that is the power of Invisalign that completely breaks his magical spells and his ability to change people's mouths. I, for one, am tired of a world where we have to live in constant fear of this beast, and we know what the answer is. It's Invisalign. Mic drop. Thank you. Hello, my name is Evie, and I'm here to talk to you about how I ruined my life by being an anime protagonist. What? <laughs> oh. One day I woke up and I was a gigantic, gigantic beetle. Uh huh. It caused a lot of problems. I don't have to. T I don't really have to. Uh I backed myself into a corner here. <laughs> Let's just move on. I got it. All right. Hello, I'm Vivian, and my talk today is about how real talk, no one likes Invisalign. <laughs> now, we'll see. There's two main problems. The first of which is Invisalign just isn't as effective as traditional braces. You'll go and spend all this money on Invisalign treatment, but if your dental issues are not merely mild, then you've effectively got a kick me sign on your back. <laughs> it just won't do the trick for moderate or severe cases. And this might seem ridiculous, but here's why it's very serious. It is a huge waste of money. Just like buying tiny hats for every single McDonald's meal that you eat, Invisalign is more costly than traditional braces and less effective. What is the purpose? There is no purpose, just like haberdashery for your fast food. If you really care about me, you'll do what I tell you to do. First, consult a reputable orthodontist. Do not just hang out on a park bench and talk to some pelicans. I don't know. <laughs> they don't know shit about your dental needs. Maybe some we'll Hello, see. everyone. My name is Jay, and my talk today to you is all about how artificial intelligence will never replace humanity's ability to abuse substances. Now, I know you may just look at the state of technology as it currently is, but no machine can do what this man has done after just getting absolutely smacked out of his mind on black tar heroin. Like, just look, look at this. Who would, e what kind of machine would even ever in its wildest thought processes ever think to do something like this? It's just completely buck wild. And I just, I just can never, can never underestimate humanity. And you know, powerful people don't want me to tell you the following fact that I'm gonna tell you, but that they can't stop me. You see, this machine right here, it's lifeless. Look at how boring that is. Could you imagine how cool that machine would be if it were just smoking blunts constantly? That would be the coolest member of like the Amazon like chain line ever if that thing was just constantly stoned out of its gourd. <laughs> now, I I understand if you might be a little bit confused, but it, let me let me just go ahead and put it simply for you. This is what is going to happen to us as a society if we continue to try and let artificial intelligence smoke all of our drugs. We have to give more of the drugs to the people. This is why you need to legalize everything in a video game, in case uh, people that are might be hiring me are watching this. Um, <laughs> legalize everything inside of a video game, because if we don't, we're just gonna plummet. Thank you so much for your time, everyone. Thing that would definitely not taste better pickled. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why was this the same answer almost? Be a supermodel, strut to the end of the runway, and then blank. Oh no. No! <laughs> 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 Oh shit. I know which one gets my vote. <laughs> <laughs> now it gets real. Pick your <laughs> I see. I think I know which one of these Vivian did. Yeah? Yeah, I got an idea. 
Yeah? <laughs> so tell us, why are pole arms more effective than swords? Well, they have significant reach, allowing you to stab your opponents from a much longer distance. Mm, Furthermore, yeah. they're better for organized formation fighting. Interesting. And really the tactics are critical, which is why the polearm overtook the sword. Oh. Um, and was ultimately supplanted by the bayonet. Those are all very fair points. points <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning about weapons. <laughs> She feels very strongly that we should get a pole arm for home defense. Yes. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like in the environment of a home is when it maybe is not the, the right weapon of choice. <laughs> I have the right to bear a halberd. Material. <laughs> 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 Yo. That's called knowing your audience. Yep. Is <laughs> definitely that. playing to the crowd. <laughs> Discovered these three surprising facts about pandas. Oh no. Yes. Okay, so I think with that, we are going to call it for the night. So let's go ahead, uh, as the credits roll, everyone, uh, first of all, 80%, do your plug. I'm SK. I'm Vivian. We're 80% relatable. You can find us at http colon slash slash catgirl.trading. We do pre-recorded Let's Plays on YouTube. I stream on YouTube as well. And we're pretty funny. Mm -hmm. They are you really You should fun. check it out. <laughs> all right. And Evie, go ahead and promote yourself as well. Hi, I'm Evie. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Evie underscore Anarch, and I'm on Twitch sometimes at Evie underscore Anarch42. I guess I'm a VTuber now. I don't know. Yay. <laughs> All sick. Uh, go ahead and uh, drop a promo as well, Wheel Baron. Yeah, so you can find me at uh, twitch.tv forward slash wicked wheel baron. Um, I do streams on uh, whatever I kind of feel like. I decide 30 minutes before the stream, usually. Um, and I guess now for our weekends, we're doing uh, The Great Ace Attorney, me and Jupiter Doomsday, a friend of mine, where we voice out all the lines. It is rough, but come join us, it's fun. Uh, this has been so much fun and such a wonderful time. Yes. I have not laughed this hard in a while. This was a really great time. <laughs> Did I literally come at the end? <laughs> oh, Sasmo! 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 Oh, Sasmo!